हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक होप यू आर डूइंग गुड अकॉर्डिंग टू द प्लान वी थॉट ऑफ सॉल्विंग प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क ऑन ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ मार्च देन विदाउट फर्दर डिले लेट्स डू इट अकॉर्डिंग टू द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ द मार्क्स टोटल टेन मार्क्स आर अलॉटेड टू दिस यूनिट नंबर टू दैट इज कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क इन द सेक्शन डी श्योरली यू विल बी गेटिंग वन क्वेश्चन फॉर फाइव मार्क्स इट इज जनरली अ केस स्टडी बेस्ड क्वेश्चन एंड इट विल बी वेरी इजी सो दैट वी कैन इजिली कवर दीज फाइव मार्क्स What about the remaining five marks? You will be getting questions in the section A as well as in the section B. There may be a slight variation in the distribution. All right then, let's try to solve some of the questions based on computer networks. Here is the sample question paper issued by CBSE for the session twenty three twenty four. We got first question which is based on networking. Ria wants to transfer picture from mobile phone to her laptop through Bluetooth technology. We need to tell which type of network will be formed. Out of the given option, the correct option is PAN, Personal Area Network. LAN is used within a building. WAN is through countries or continent, and MAN is used within city. Let's move ahead and check. Are there some questions based on networking? Here is one more question, which is in the form of fill in the blank. The modem at the sender's end at as a. From the given four options, the option B is the correct one. At the sender's end, it acts as a modulator, where analog signals are converted to digital. In this way, we solve two questions from the section A. Now it's time to check out the question in the section B. Here is the first question. Expand the following term, and there is one more question. Give one difference between XML and HTML. Look at the full form of POP3. It is Post Office Protocol 3, and URL is Uniform Resource Locator. Here is the difference between HTML and XML. HTML has predefined tags. We can design only static web pages using HTML. There is one more difference that it is not a case sensitive. Then what about XML? The full form is extensible markup language. Don't forget to write the full forms. In XML, we can create our own tags. It is generally used for dynamic web page development. And the last difference is XML is case sensitive. Here is the or part of the same question. We need to define term bandwidth, and in the second question, we need to tell how HTTP is different from HTTPS. Look at the answer in the marking scheme. Bandwidth is the maximum rate of data transfer over a transmission medium. Data transfer is nothing but the amount of information that can be transmitted over the network. We know in networking, we connect different devices to each other through one transmission medium. so the amount of data is transferring over that medium is known as bandwidth let's check out the answer for the second question https the full form is hypertext transfer protocol secure it's the secure version of the http in case of http the data will get encrypted so it is secure whereas this is not possible with the http it is not that much secure That's why in the search bar of the browser you will see https when you are browsing some content over the internet. There is one more one mark question. Let's check out. It is also in the form of fill in the blank. In case of dash switching before a communication start dedicated path is identified between sender and receiver. There are three types of switching technique circuit switching, message switching and packet switching. There will be no direct link between sender and the receiver. So the correct option is circuit switching. The example is telephone line. Proceeding to the section E. Here you will get one question for five marks. It is a case study based question. Read the question carefully. There is an educational organization name is Meticulous. It has head office in Delhi and there are four other campus in Chennai. In the following table we have the distance between block to block. and there is one more table in which we have total number of computers in each block now let's read the instructions carefully suggest and draw the cable layout efficiently to connect various blocks of the chennai campus there are different topologies out of that you can suggest any one if we go ahead with bus topology it is depending on the distance between the blocks try to find out the minimum distance between these blocks and connect it The second choice we can go ahead with the star topology. I would suggest always to go with star topology. It is based on the number of computers in each block. Whichever block has maximum number of computer we will make it as a server and other blocks we will connect to it. 
look at the table here admin block is having 110 computer so it will act as a server and other blocks will get connected to it so without thinking much always go with star topology what's the next question which network device will be used to connect computers in each block to form lan for lan we can use switch or hub but switch is a smart hub so we will be using switch if similar kind of question will get repeated in your final exam write answer as switch Moving ahead to the next question, in which block in Chennai campus should be made server? Justify your answer. Look at the Chennai campus. Admin has 110 computer, so it will act as a server. That's why the answer is admin block and to justify answer we have written that it has a maximum number of computers. Let's check the next question, which is fast and efficient wireless transmission medium should be used to connect head office at Delhi with Chennai. For the given distance, microwave will be the efficient option. Moving ahead to the last question, suggest a device software to be installed in the Chennai campus to take care of data security. For computer, firewall is the best option. Here we have solved some more one mark questions. So please go through it to get an idea what type of questions you will be getting under one mark section. Along with one mark, there are some two marks questions also. So it will be good for you to check out each and every questions. Here is the additional practice question paper issued by CBC for the session 23-24. Let's check out some questions from these two. Here is the question based on computer networks. We need to expand the following term. PPP is point to point protocol and VOIP is voice over internet protocol. Look at the next question. Which of the following statements is false? SMTP and POP protocols are used in email communication. This statement is true. Let's check the next statement. URL of a page is not always same as its domain. Yes, this is also true. URL and domain name is different. Look at the third statement. HTTPS is safer than HTTP. Yes, this is true. HTTPS is the secured version of the HTTP. Let's read the last one. Interlinking of collection of web pages is called internet. This is false because collection of web pages is website. So the correct choice is D. Here is the second question. Dash protocol provides access to services hosted on a remote computer. For that purpose, we use Telnet. So the correct option is C. Let's move ahead to the section B. Here is the first question from the section B. Write two advantages and two disadvantages of circuit switching. There is a OR part 2. Here we need to tell the difference between web server and web browser. Along with that we have to tell the name of the two browsers. Look at the answer. In case of circuit switching we will have a dedicated communication channel which increases the quality of the communication. It is suitable for long continuous communication. Then what about disadvantages? In case of circuit switching, resources are not utilized fully. Here is the second disadvantage. The time required to establish a physical link between two stations is too long. For this type of communication, you can think of telephone line. Now look at the answer of the second question. Difference between web browser and web server. Here we follow client server technology. Client will be browser. So it receives the web content. You know what's the function of the client. It will send request to the web browser. After that it will receive and display the content. Then what about web browser? It delivers the content to the client. Look at the function. Server will accept the request from the client, processes it and send back the data requested by the client. Don't forget to write the name of the browser. Microsoft Edge, Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox. Now we are at the section D in which we will be getting question for 5 marks. Generally you will be getting similar pattern of question in the section E which will be case study based question. Look at the diagram and read the question carefully. Here is the first question. Suggest the most appropriate location of the server inside Mumbai campus. From this table we could see that admin has total number of computers 110. And when we look at the diagram, yes, admin is in Mumbai campus. So the admin will be the server because it has maximum number of computers. In the second question, we need to suggest cable layout to connect the various buildings of Mumbai campus. As I explained you, we will be suggesting star topology. 
in which we will be connecting other buildings to admin building here is the cable layout based on star topology we connected other blocks to admin block if you want to go ahead with bus topology you need to check the distance between the branches here is the third question which hardware device will you suggest to connect all the computers within each building always we will be using switch look at the fourth question we need to suggest online face to face communication between the people in the admin office of mumbai campus and delhi head office there is no doubt among the options we will be opting for video conferencing moving ahead to the last question which type of network out of this mentioned 41 will be set up in each of the following cases let's read the first case the mumbai campus gets connected with the head quarter in delhi these are two different cities so we will be going ahead with van and let's check out the second case the computers connected in mumbai campus it is within the city if it is within the city we will go ahead with man there are lot of five marks questions also are covered in this video so make sure to check out all the questions so that's the wrap for today's video with this video we have covered entire portion of class 12 computer science hope you found this series helpful thank you for joining me and supporting me throughout this journey in the next video we will try to test our knowledge and going to solve question paper issued by the cbsc for the session 23 24 So until next time stay healthy keep studying i will see you in the next video